Hello everyone, Corpse here, bringing you another video tutorial. Today's video tutorial is on how to download your own custom IPv4 database table and install it into your Evo Extreme site. Alrighty guys, this video I'm going to talk about how to get your own IPv4 table and install it into your own CMS, but I'm not talking about downloading an IP to country table that I've already set up for you guys. What I'm talking about is how to create your own. Uh, so you can keep yours up to date and you don't have to wait for me or Lone Star or somebody else to come out with an update. Mind you, this is going before you, you guys are, are a little bit more advanced in MySQL. You're going. This is all MySQL, not PHP or anything. You're going to need to know MySQL a bit. So we're going to talk about that for a little bit. Uh, today's program I'm going to use is Sublime Text, which is a free-to-use program, but I do also recommend Notepad++. That is available out there to you guys for free. Um, so to get started, what you're going to need to do is, well, at least have the tables. Well, this right here is my uh, uh, IP to country table, the NS NST. Well, it is a tongue twister. Can't say it. I can't even say it once, let alone say that three times fast. But uh, the Nuke Sentinel IP to country table. That's how I'm going to say it. Um, this is the one that comes with the honeypot. Uh, granted, these are all from 2016. I do have an updated version, which I released a couple days ago. Um, and uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, get this one here. So uh, what are we going to need from this one? Well, we just need to know this right here. So what we have to do is we're going to need to start with this, but we also need to get the IP4 uh, v4 CSV files. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off going to this website here, software77.net forward slash geo dash IP. This is like my website. We uh, they are completely uh, donationware. Um, the whole site is run by donations and that. So if you're going to do your own and you're going to be using this quite a bit. I do recommend throwing them a few bucks here and there when you can, if you can. Um, it goes to help them out a lot, so uh, definitely worth doing. But what you want to do is come to their website here and scroll down and on the right side you'll see a little block here that says download and then you'll see a drop down. What we want to do is choose either one of these, the IPv4 CSV.gz or the .zip. I'm going for the .zip, but you can go for either or, doesn't really matter. Then you just click download. Now that we have that downloaded, we're going to want to open that up in a folder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that to my desktop and close that. So what we do is we open up this, and of course I open up on my other monitor, and we're going to just drag and drop this CSV file to my desktop. Now what I want to do is right click on my desktop, create desktop file. I'm going to name this one IP to country 2.csv. And of course we get that message saying, oh, we're changing the file type. Uh, so it might become unusable. You're going to need to have the file type shown. Um, if you don't know how to do this, uh, there are lots of tutorials. I even think I've uh, put out a couple of tutorials on how to do it, um, or at least linked to the tutorials out there uh, to do it. It's not hard, just do a Google search. How to show file types on Windows 10 or whatever Windows version you're running. Um, 
So now that we have these two files, this one is uh, the one that's full, this is the one that's blank. So what we're going to do is right click and we're going to open with, and here I gotta choose another app because uh, it's not seeing my sublime text. So I just come in here, sublime text, select that, bam, open. Now that I have this open, what we want to do is scroll down a little bit. And uh, here we get right to the file format for the IPv4. As you can see, there's going to be uh, seven columns. There's IP from, IP to, registry, assigned, country, that's the two-letter country code, another country, this is the three-letter country code, and then the full country name, Israel. So for their example, it's Israel. So what we need to do is we need to look at this table here. As you can see, we have IP low, IP high, date, C2C, and country. The C2C, country, two-letter, code. So we're going to need the C2C, the country, two-letter, code, and the country name, the date, IP low, IP high. Well, you may say, well, there is no IP high, no IP low, no date. Well, IP from is IP low. IP to is IP high. Registry, we don't need. And assigned, that's the date. So basically, the two that we don't need is the registry and this three-letter country. But the problem is, is if you scroll down, to do this manually and go through and highlight, delete each section, that's not practical. I mean, if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, you're talking, uh, where's the bottom? We should be there. That's, uh, well, 186,000 lines, but minus whatever's there, 170 something thousand lines. So what we want to do, is uh, basically import this into a table so we can easily remove it. So what I recommend doing, and this is how I do it, and I'm sure there's other people that have their own techniques and everything, but what you want to do is uh, come here. So we have the IP2 low, IP high, and where's, sorry, that's the IP6. Okay, so we don't need registry. And that's right after the IP high. So IP high, we're going to create a new line. And I'm going to name this one remove. So I know. And then we're going to give this one a character. And let's just give it a value of 100. And then we're going to put default. Default null, and that's it. There we go. So we created that one. So we're going to want to remove the remove. And now we have to look, okay, we want to get the, rid of the three-letter country code that's between the C2C, what we have marked as C2C, and country. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another one right after C2C. But to make this easier, I'm just going to copy that line, hit enter, create new line. I'm going to change this to 3, and I'm going to change that to C3C, country, three-letter code. So we're going to want to remove, remove, and also C3C. Now what we can do is just highlight this. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Control Z that goes back. We select copy. Now that we go, have the copy, now we want to do is go into our database. Okay, this this is going to be where it's going to be a little bit tricky. I don't do not do this on your live server's database. Please do not do that. 
what you want to do is create a new database. I recommend not using your web host at all, but instead using a local host. Create a local on your computer. And the way you can do that is using a service like I'm using, which is WAMP server. Uh, WAMP server is basically everything. It has Apache, PHP, MySQL on Windows, and it gives you the whole uh, environment of having a website on your own PC. Very easy to download and install. Uh, you just come to uh, WAMPserver.com and uh, you download their latest. Um, and once you have this installed, then uh, it's a matter of launching it and doing that. So, uh, as you can see right here, I do have my uh, lamp already launched. And uh, what I like about WAMP over like others like Xamp, I love Xamp. I'm not going to say I hate it. I love it. It's a great program, but I do hate it. I like it and I hate it. I hate it because you cannot change the PHP version easily in it. So I can't jump from being on PHP 5.6 to PHP 7.2. Here I can. I can change the version of what I'm on. I could go from 5.6 to 7.1 uh, very easily. Where on example, no, you can't do that. They don't make it easy. So I recommend if you're looking at something for multi-environment friendly, WAMP is the way to go. But other than that, if you're looking to develop only on the latest PHP version only, then XAMPP is the way to go. That's how I'm going to leave it. So now we've done that and I've talked about that. We can close this because I'm done with that. So. As you can see, I've already created a new table, a new database here called IP to country. This is solely for doing what I'm doing here, what I'm showing you guys. So what we do is we come into the SQL and I'm going to just hit control and V. So I paste that in and it's saying that I do have a slight error in this. So I think I see what it is. And that's fixed. What I used was uh, instead of using the tilde, like that, I used regular quotes and didn't like that. So now that I have that there, I'm going to click go. Do I really want to use it? Yes. Now what it did was it checked to see if the table existed and if it existed, it dropped it. If not, it created a new table. This is why I suggest not running this on your live server. Do this on something like what I did here. It's a local. This is the only database table on it. If I click on structure, as you can see, it's just one table here. And we're going to need to go into this, but we can't really do anything yet on this. So let's minimize this again. And let's come back to here. So we have this uh, there. Let me open up. Here's the second one. This is the blank one. Here's the first one. So what I'm going to want to do is uh, start right here. Make this easier. Highlight all the way up to the top, hit delete. Now I want to go about halfway down. Let's go straight to 100,000. Make it easier. We're almost there. Okay. So what you want to do is now that we were at a hundred thousand I'm going to a hundred thousand one and click on the very start and now I'm just going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and I'm going to come to the very end right there I'm going to copy that and I'm going to cut it 
like that. Now I'm going to come to the second one that I created, the blank one. And I'm going to hit Control V, which just pastes what I just cut. So now that we have that cut, we have two separate files. We have the original CSV here, and then we have CSV2. So I'm going to hit Control S on both of them, like that. Now minimize. Now what we want to do is we want to come into here. Now we're inside our table that we just created uh, a few minutes ago, and we want to come up to import. We're going to choose file, and we want to do the very first one, IP to country, right there, and select open. Now you're going to see a bunch of different options in that. So I'm going to uh, check all these. Format is CSV. Uh, don't if it, it might be on this one by default, uh, CSV or CSV using low data. Just use CSV. Um, UTF-8, as the reason why I split it, as you can see, there is a max and there is also PHP timeout. So um, that's why I had you split it. But once you have that done, you just click go and let it run. This is going to take probably a minute or two, so I'm going to pause it right here. And when we come back, it will be done and we'll be ready to do the second file. Alrighty, we are back, and as you can see, 100,000 queries have been executed. So now that we're done there, we have to do the next one. So we just click Import again, choose the file. Now we want IP to country 2. This is the second half, and we click Open. And the same options show up. I do want to point out one thing I sort of missed on a... Uh, that very first one I did is right here column separated enclosed with lines terminated with basically what you want to do with this is just look at how they have it set up um, this is how you can see it opens with a uh, double quote closes with a double quote and each one is separated by a comma all the way across so that by default is the general setup, but some may do it slightly different. So columns separated with a comma, columns enclosed with a double quote, columns escaped with a double quote, and then lines terminated with, and just leave that at auto. Unless if there's a special characters, they, it may be like a semicolon or something. But if there is nothing, like the CSVs that I'm using here, has nothing just leave it at auto so uh, and you don't have to worry about column names for this so I did want to point that out I sort of skipped that so here we're going to run this one again this is number two so let's get this rolling and we'll be back as soon as this is done alrighty we are back and as you can see the import has been successfully finished. So now we want to do is come back to the table here. And now we're in this table. What we want to do is click structure. Remember the ones that I wanted to remove, the one that I named removed, and the one called CS3, uh, C3C. What we want to do is select those two. I have both those checked. And in this section, list selected, drop. Now all we have is the five that we needed. IP low, IP high, date, C2C, and country. Now, we can export this. And we'll just use the quick format SQL, click on go. And now, as you can see down here, we are downloading it. So I'm going to open the folder. And uh, <clears throat> I'll pause and, well, 
never mind, I'm not even going to pause. There it is, downloaded. I probably shouldn't have double clicked on that, but oh well. We are opening it up in Dreamweaver. I was going to use Sublime Text. Sorry, you're not seeing this, but it's actually uh, opening up on my other monitor. Just moving that over. And basically, all we would need to do is just highlight all this, hit delete a couple times, and there we go. We can save this like that and there we go that is our latest ip to country nuke sentinel downloaded today so now we can go to our main site with this and install it that's it that is all that's needed took us about 20 minutes or uh, took a little bit longer than 20 minutes but Normally, if I'm doing this just for myself, I could do it in probably about 10, 15 minutes. But most of that is just waiting for the CSV files to get uploaded and run. The reason why I have you split is because of the file size. The file size might be too big for PHP and for MySQL to successfully upload it without timing out. So if you split it into two, it will work. So... I hope this video tutorial helps and if you have any questions feel free to ask um, come right over to my website headshotdomain.net um, log in in the forums there we talk about anything you can uh, ask que your questions there feel free to stop by Lone Stars dash modules site um, and also the Evo Extreme website um, for any questions uh, of course, if you like this video, click like. If you like to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. And remind you that art, just like uh, where the, CS, uh, the C, uh, CSV file came from, the IP to country, our site is completely donationware. Uh, we are donation run. Every little help. So if this video tutorial does help you in any way and you feel like contributing a little bit to help our site keep going and allow these videos to keep on coming, Feel free to stop by, and uh, yeah, any little bit counts. So uh, yeah, you guys take care, and you guys have a good one. Till next time.